I saw this story that happened over the last like week or two about these uh, these this airline that ran into a little bit of a predicament because these like there was like fourteen sumo wrestlers that tried to get on a flight. Have you seen this article? Oh no, I no, I haven't 14, seen that. Really, fourteen sumo wrestlers try to get on an airplane. And immediately it causes a bit of chaos because they're like the average weight of a passenger apparently is like 160 pounds. And like all these dudes are uh, averaging not, not like in America two, 275. Right. Yeah. Good point. But they're yeah. all averaging 275, which I'll say is also pretty embarrassing weight for a sumo wrestler. Um, like yeah. 275 mark. But they're also they were, so it turned out they were like high school versions. So <laughs> I think that's that's kind of. They're they're up and comers, right? Yeah. So maybe a, a sumo high school. That that's a great di- that's a great Disney Channel TV show. Sumo, sumo high school. Sumo high school. Oh, dude, because I haven't seen the Japanese Disney sumo Disney high. Show. I don't think they're sumo. <laughs> I would watch that show. I would. I would. I would. I would. I would run home. Well, I would. I would try to run home. I would jog and... at a, like a brisk pace to watch sumo high. <laughs> And it finally be the first school where they could pick on the skinny kid. You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? Like, and the kids it's, like, I don't know. I just don't <laughs> seem to fit in, and I don't get why. <laughs> and uh, even the dude, skinny kid so still good. got a little bit sumo of weight on high, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, gotta, and he gotta, goes to gotta, sumo gotta, practice gotta, one day, and like, he kind of does something good, and everyone's like, "All right, yeah, you're okay." Like, oh, yeah, wow, yeah, it's, right. it's, We're it's, like, it's yeah. <laughs> It's the it's the big cultural. But his shift dad is school. like gigantic. Yeah, yeah. What if his dad's like gigantic and he's like, "You're a big dishonor to our family." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like the, the kid, superhero the kid, kid that like, doesn't have the powers. He's like, like how, I just how, don't want to be a sumo wrestler, Dad. I want to go to dad. school. I want to. I want to go play baseball like Shohei Otani. He's like Shohei Otani is a waste of talent. <laughs> Could you imagine if he focused his life on the sumo industry? What yeah. he could have been. He could have been somebody. Think, he could have been a contender. <laughs> oh, what? Hit a hit a little baseball, throw it 100 miles an hour? Who's this yeah. guy? Nobody. He's a nobody. Yeah. He'd get he'd get <laughs> pushed over. That's that's the best yeah. part about it. It's like it, Does the, that the, look like a guy who could handle a 300 pounds man coming at him? No. <laughs> no. No. He'll never be Yakuza. <laughs> Oh, man. The kid, the kid, like at lunch, and like his lunchbox is like the size of a you know back, like, like a like a rolling backpack, and he's just throwing it away every day. He's like, I don't, I'm not trying to do all that. Right? Yeah. Dad's like, we heard what's been going on at school. He's like, what are you talking about? They show him the camera footage. Like, yeah. you've been throwing your lunch away. You haven't yeah. been eating the food we've been. Getting. You know how much that costs this family every day. <laughs> I'm, I'm all about it. Sumo high. Su- sumo high. But but anyway. The- <laughs> <laughs> that's a hilarious or even a pixar i mean that'd be a great pixar yeah, right, yeah. Too. i mean that'd be so good um i mean there's so many ways we can go with this sumo high <laughs> um it was i just <laughs> i thought it was so funny of like being the airport attendant and like the first three to four of them rolling up to be like we're checking in and they're like oh okay like, ah, yeah that's fine and then and then yeah. like like calling the manager and being like we got a situation like I don't know how to yeah. explain this to you, but not one, not two, 14 amateur sumo wrestlers are trying to get in this flight. We're going to breach capacity here. Like yeah. we get, they had to shuttle them to another airport and get them on a different flight because really? they were worried about weight restrictions. Yeah. And stuff. yeah, of course, like that's that's a tough day. And then the kids were saying they're like, we all kind of joked about it. They they were they were actually kind of joking about like, what are they yeah, going to yeah. do about all this weight? And then it <laughs> happened. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> we were joking. Like, we thought it was a joke. We laughed the about how one... funny it would be. <laughs> the one kid, they said the kid was like, yeah, you know, it, it was pretty bad, but especially the middle seat. And I'm like, listen here, buddy. All right. If you maybe you've never flown before, but I weigh 230 pounds, give or take. The middle seat sucks for me too. All right, yeah, like yeah. it's not just yeah. <laughs> it's not just you. Like there's re- pretty much nobody on earth who goes the middle seat. Like I, you know, yeah. I kind of like this. I I like being in between two other people. Yeah, it's real um, comfy, it's real not, cozy. Yeah, not good. Yeah, but so I listen, think that's it, if you're if you're uncomfortable, think about the other two people that or have to sit next to you. That's yeah. That is when I when I fly and I I always take the aisle seat. I I don't understand big people that take the the middle seat or the window seat. Just because I mean, maybe it's because I'm taller, but I always take the aisle seat so that I can put my leg in the aisle. Of course, that is just immediate room. Um, but it's not even so much like oh, it's like this is going to be a burden to me. 
like, or I don't want to be uncomfortable during the flight. It's like, no, my whole, the whole thought process is I don't want to be a burden to the person next to me. Like that's the whole yeah. thing. And so, yeah, the idea of like a sumo wrestler saying like, oh, you know, the, the middle seat was bad. It's like, yeah, think about how the other people around you felt. Oh, dude. And like, you know, the three of them couldn't take a row. So like, no. you know, I feel like you know, <laughs> and think about like Southwest, right? Because they, they, they have like that weird ordering system. So imagine these yeah. are the last people on the plane. And you're like, look at, we're like, when is it going <laughs> to stop? Like, when are they going to stop boarding? Yeah. Because like, I'm sitting aisle and there's, we got, you know, a couple middle, like, you know, I don't, I'm just looking down, like, don't pick this row. Don't pick this row. Yeah. Cause like, it's going to be tough. I've, I've sat in a row before that was like guys, my size and bigger that I didn't know before, like significantly bigger than me. And it's tough. And it was an exit row because we all go for that. Right. We're like, yeah, yeah like I want to sit, but yeah, who doesn't want to sit there? You know, like yeah. that's a little bit bigger, you know? So I would, I, I would be, I would be perfectly fine with someone at the airport in charge of like looking up profile pictures on Facebook and being like, okay, like here's how we're going to organize the plane. You're a little old lady. You sit with the big, you sit with the big fat guy. You, here's three average yeah. sized people. Y'all sit together. I would be totally okay with them. Just say, like, as long yeah. as I know, like, Hey, as long as I get an aisle, I don't care. And maybe just a little bit of a combine, like right outside the gate for the exit row, because like, you know, they, they, the lady asked me the other day, she's like, are you willing and able in the event of emergency landing? I'm like, I look around like, lady, I'm the most qualified guy you got here, like, yeah. for being honest. <laughs> this is a, this like, is a like, very clear and concise verbal yes. Yeah, yeah. Not only will I do it for you, I'll be the best emergency exiter you've ever had before. Like, yeah. In the event, I'm like, let's make this happen. Like, let's not even joke around anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm going like, to show off my skills. I want to let you know something. I'm not going to sleep. I take this job very seriously, right? You know, like I don't drink on these flights either. I was actually pretty hammered as I'm saying all this, but like I was like this. Actually kind of happened. <laughs> but I, I, and I'm and I'm just like, I'm like, did you question? I'm like, watch me pick up this bag, and I'm like, one armed it like up there. I'm like, yeah, that door is gonna be no problem. The problem is yeah. gonna be getting around all these sumo wrestlers you got sitting over here when they obviously go into cardiac <laughs> arrest on the fucking, you know, crash of this plane. Like that's my problem. Yeah. Like I can't move this guy. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I. <I'll> uh, <laughs> I, I am, I'm not, like I said, it's the biggest thing when I fly is I don't want to be a burden to the person I'm sitting next to. I would be, I, you're always looking like waiting for that last person to come on the plane. Imagine like the one, like you see the sumo wrestler come on. You're like, shit. Okay. So here we go. It's game time. Where is he going to sit? And then he gets about three rows in and then you see another one come in you're like, oh my <laughs> God, there's two of them. And like, okay, so yeah, yeah you they must be brothers. The they, they're traveling for, yeah, for yeah, yeah. this event like, oh or something. Oh my God, yeah. there's three of them. Just like every single person is, every person who already has somebody sitting next to them is just praising <laughs> God at that point in time. Just like, oh, thank God. We're the, and they're going to look at each other like, I'm but happy that, to be with you right now. At that point, you start recruiting from the other side. Like, do you want do you want to come over here? This <laughs> this one here, like, because like by like ten deep, you're starting to realize you're like this isn't gonna end well for any yeah, of yeah. us. Like, we're all this is a, this we're is all a sick stuck. joke. This is a sick yeah, right? joke. <laughs> I'm never flying Frontier again. It also be <laughs> it also be pretty funny to hand those guys peanuts and be like, I hope this can hold you over <laughs> yeah. for a couple of hours. Yeah. Would you, Would you like some peanuts? Uh, yes, peanuts plural. Give me all the peanuts. <laughs> 